Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, I'm Professor of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific, and I'm here with Professor Blois. We're going to be doing another problem today on function notation, correct? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, this is an important DAT topic, as well as for the old exam, and I think you're going to love it. Okay, Professor, take it away. Hi, yes, we're going to do function notation today, and we have two functions defined f of x equals x minus 2, g of x is x squared minus 2x. And just as a primer for function notation, I think you pretty much, uh, you should know the, the basics of it. If I have a, a notation like that, how do I evaluate function notation? Well, if I have f of uh, whatever number I replace a x with on, on the left-hand side where the function is announced, that's what I'm going to replace on the right-hand side. So if I have f of 7, this is going to be 7 minus 2, or 5. So now let's evaluate this expression where I have embedded uh, function notation. f of x, I want f of f of f of f of x. Well, let's take this one step at a time. Let's first evaluate f of f of x. Okay, so we know that f of x is x minus 2. So uh, f of x is x minus 2, and in place of the x, I'm replacing the x with f of x itself, which is the function x minus 2. So what this evaluates to is x minus 4. So that's f of f of x. Now, what about, let's build this up slowly, what about f of f of f of x? Okay, f of f of f of x. We already know that f of f of x is x minus 4, so what we're looking for is f of x minus 4, because that's what the, the value of f of f of x is x minus 4, so we simplify it to this expression. So what do we have here? The, the definition of f of x is x minus 2. We're going to replace the x with whatever value we find in the parentheses over here, which is x minus 4. And this comes out to be x minus 6. Well, you can see it's just another subtraction of 2. That's what the definition of f of x is. You take an, a value and you just simply subtract 2 from it. Every time I apply the function f of x, I'm just subtracting another 2. So I start off with f of x, f of x equals x minus 2. Applying it one time, I subtract 2. Sub applying it a second time, I subtract another 2. Subtracting it a third time, I subtract a third 2. So succinctly, I can say, well, look, I'm taking the original function of f of x and subtracting 2, 1, 2, 3 times. I'm subtracting 6 from it. So this is going to be x minus 2 minus 6, and the answer is going to be x minus 8. All right, and we can do that step by step or just uh, benefit from the generality, that the general pattern that appeared from working out function notation. Okay, so here we have uh, a more complicated expression, g of f of x divided by f of x. Now, don't even think of canceling out the f of x's. That's not how this works. We're first going to evaluate g of f of x. So we know the definition of g is x squared minus 2x. So let's represent this in terms of dots. Dot squared minus 2 times dot. So whatever I replace the dot with on the left-hand side is going to be replaced. It is the same thing I'm going to replace the dot with on the right-hand side, the definition of g of x. Well, if I replace the dot with f of x, that means on the right-hand side, I'm going to replace the dot with what the definition of f of x is, x minus 2. x minus 2 squared minus 2 times x minus 2. All right, so now that's what my g of f of x is. Let's begin to fill in our little uh, uh, fraction here. The numerator is going to be x minus 2 squared minus 2 times x minus 2. And the denominator is f of x, which is x minus 2. Now, uh, one way to approach this is to multiply everything out and simplify it and see if we can uh, have any cancellations. But let's go about this in a little bit more clever way. I see that x minus 2 is a common factor to both these terms. So what if we factor out in the numerator, what if I factor out an x minus 2 term? What do I get? Well, I factor out an x minus 2 from x minus 2 squared, I'm going to get x minus 2. And if I factor out an x minus 2 from 9, minus 2 times x minus 2, it's going to give me minus 2. 
right? If you can multiply them back and you'll see, you'll restore the original. X minus two times X minus two is X minus two squared. X minus two times minus two gives you minus two times X minus two. And this is all divided by X minus two. All right, what am I allowed to cancel out? I'm allowed to cancel out factors, but not terms. X minus two in the numerator is a factor. X minus two in the denominator is a factor. I can cancel them out. I'm leaving, leaving a one and leaving the final answer, X minus two minus two, which is X minus four. And there is a little exercise in function notation. Okay, thank you very much, Professor. I got very scared when I saw all those Fs. Oh boy, uh, yeah. I can't lie to you. Terrible. I saw all those Fs, my goddamn hell was spinning. But I don't blame you. Anyway, it's scary. All right, I hope you guys um, got something out of that. We'll be back with you again to do some more great problems with me and Professor Blois. All right, thank you. Bye-bye, guys.